hello guys welcome back to the channel i am elikis music official if this is your first time i welcome you on this tutorial i'm just going to reveal all the relevant information the tricks the cheat everything that you need to know when it comes to playing stems as a musician what is the best daw when it comes to playing stems i recommend you to use a built-in life always you can see on the screen i'm using a built-in life Levin suit okay so you may ask yourself why is it not fl studio why is it not kiwi base there are reason for that don't argue just wait till the video ends you know the difference why i'm using a built-in life for this setup and i'll advise you any day to download this a built-in life daw right so if you open it for the first time you're going to have the session view that's what you see on the screen since you are going to be playing stems this is not loops if it was supposed to be loops this session would be best for us but we are playing stems so we're going to be using what we call the arranger view now the arranger view to navigate to that section you need to just click on this button here if you click on it here is the arranger view so this is where we're going to load our stems to now i'm going to the folder which contains my stems you understand so this is the folder containing my stems so this is definitely stems if you have someone who have bought my stem before if you extract you see it to be in the zip format if you extract it's going to have something like a folder when you open it that's what you have inside so i have almost 14 items in it so let me explain it this folder here i've named it one track so in case you are someone who don't have um daw or you don't have pc to play stems so in that case you can use media player but there are some limitation when it comes to that and my stems have rendered them in wave format you can see the size are too huge so you can just drag this and drop it into your media player and play it you're going to have your stems everything in it but limitations in it is that you can't adjust anything in there just you just play um and follow it okay now let's see something here if we are not using that we are not using that because we are going to be using daw so we need the multi-track so this is how stems are supposed to be now this is what you have to do anytime you open stems you have what you call read me so that's a test document you need to open it to find out what goes into the stem so this is where the relevant information could be found now it says tempo is 140 bpm don't overlook the readme it is very important so as soon as you see the tempo to be 140 go back to your daw and just increase the tempo to 140 as i said okay so just 140 then you are good to go after that you come and read the next thing it says the sample rate is 4800 so i'm using focus right to i2 third generation and if i open it you can see here is it this is the name and i'm using sample rates of 4800 at the default settings it is usually at 4100 okay if you use 4100 and if you load my stems it, you are supposed to have the original key to be e flat if the key changes that means your sample rate is affecting the the stems so you need to change it to 4800 depending on the sound card that you are using um that will tell how to do now the key i'm using here if you don't know the key is e flat that's the stems key so the next thing is if you are playing the stems with media player it says use one track file else load separate tracks into your daw and enjoy that's what it means it means if you want to if you want to be using media player then you need the one track file instead that's why i've created a separate folder for it but you want to be using daw that means you need this multi-track file so that's what it means the next thing is stems set up in a built-in life. Now, this the requirement that you need for the video. You need a sound card with at least four mono output or two stereo output. So you can see the sound card on the screen. It has um one, two, three, four, four ports. 
So that's the output port. Each each of the port is a mono output. But if you combine uh, in a vertical format, if you combine the two, it gives you a stereo output. Okay, you can read about the stereo and the mono stuffs, right? But unfortunately for me, on this video, I'm using 2i to third generation. But because of the demand of this video, that's why I want to force and I mean do this tutorial. Now the step is the instrument track. Now you let's first load the stems into. So after the let me write something here. Load the. I'm giving the instruction drag and drop the stems into your arranger. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. So just select the entire staff. Apart from let's uncheck the readme. We are just going to drag and drop it onto the ranger view. So bring it somewhere. Okay, like this. This where the cheat or the uh, the trick is. If you drag it onto the arranger ball like this, it will not work. So you need to hold on to control to make it look vertical before you release your finger on the mouse. Okay, so just hold on to control and release your hand just like that. Okay, so let's do that again. Select all of them. Hold on control and release your hand just like that. You have our stems ready. All right, so we have our stems in the arranger view. The next thing we have to do is just play it so that we can see whether um, it works well. So if you hit on play, let's let's play it and see. Three, two, one. Intro. Three, two, one. So the stems place well, everything works in time. That's how I make my stems. You don't have to make adjustments after loading them, okay? Now, here is where the tricks lies, okay? This is where a built-in life separates itself from any DAW. So let's see something. You have the stems here. It contains click track. It also contains cues. So the click track is the metronome. The cues is the talk back, okay? That's one, two, three, four. That's the cues. The problem is if you are to play this through our PA system, it means the clicks, everything you going through the sound system, the audience will be listening to the cues, everything. That's not how it's supposed to be. So this is how we arrange stems. We made it in such a way that the audience will listen to the stems itself and we, the instrumentalists, will listen to the cues and the click tracks. Let's go back to the session view. So in the session view, you can see is there it's just the same thing as the ranger view. All the stems are here. You can see we have on the master track, we have the cues out and we have the master out. So this is what it means. The cues out is where you, the instrumentalist guys, you are going to listen to. Their master out is where the audience are going to be listening to, okay? So you can see the sound card on the screen. It has one, two, three, four. Four mono output, but two stereo outputs, okay? Now, if you want to achieve what I'm about to show you here, it means you need a sound card that has at least four mono outputs you understand if you are not using sound card like that if you don't have money to afford that means you don't have to use the collectors and the cues in that case you can choose to delete it okay you can choose to delete it that will be better for you or you can mute it so if you want to mute it just click on the 14 and click on the 13 that will take out the clicks and the you're going to take out the cues and the tricks. If you don't have sound card that has at least four outputs, you're going to struggle, okay? So let me show you. If you are fortunate enough to have such sound card, then let me show you how to get your way out. So simple. Now, we are going to say that the audience should listen to three and four so that the master out that goes to the audience, they should listen to one and two. 
So if I was supposed to have sound sound card that have the four outputs, four mono outputs, I'll be having here one and two, and I can change the cues out to three and four. You understand? But this time around, I'm not having such, so I can manage to find my way around. Now let's go to the README. Look at something here. It says that instruments apart from bass should be routed to one and two okay so the instrument is going to one and two apart from the bass so route all instruments all backing vocals to one and two so that means that i'm going to look for the instrument so this hi-hat is instrument the if you want to select them just select okay and hit on control hold on to control select instrument centers instrument everything instrument above this is the base i won't select it electric piano is also instrument so i've selected all the instrument and i'm going to route them to one and two they are going to the master bass okay so if you look at the sound card output that one and two we are going to connect cable that has two stereo splitter you know we have that stereo splitter cable it has two end like this, two mouth like this, going to the port. But when it's going to the mixer board, you're going to have only one end going to the mixer board. Or you can just use two different cables to connect from the one and two to the mixer board. That's what is going to the PA system. So at the master out, you have to select one over two. And the queues out, you'll be selecting um four i will show you when to do that by this time we are routing the instrument only so you just come to the audio two okay where the written master right click here go to external out now if, if you select external out it affects the entire instrument that i've selected okay so we have one and two now my sound card is only one and two so I'm limited to choosing between one and two. If I play it through one, I'm going to have my sound to be in mono. I don't want it that way. You know, the stems all put together, it is in a stereo file. So I'm supposed to have it in one and two so that I can have that stereo play. I don't have to play my stems in mono. That's not how you play stems. So that's why I advise you to get sound card that has at least four output. Now, if you do that, you have to also come and select your bass. Here is the bass. The bass can't go together with the instrument. So go to the bass and the bass, it says, look, route the bass to mono, okay? So you are routing the bass to the third output, okay? So right now we have connect our cable from the sound card one and two to the mixer board, okay? And you are connecting a different cable to the tray, okay? So one, two, three. We are connecting a different cable to tray. That we're going to that is going to play the bass. If you don't have bass guitar at your church, you are going to play the bass through it, okay? So with that, we are going to say bass. Then we select the master out. We choose external out. And at this point, we are supposed to select tray in case we are to have a tray here. So we just select tray, okay? So if you select that, that means that that output tray is going to send the bass signal only to your mixer board. And you can pass it through your amplifier before it goes to the mixer board. So you can just fine tune the bass and adjust it the way you want, okay? So that's how we do it. And also the cues and the tra click tracks. So here is the cues and the click tracks. Here is it. I will just say that the cues and select the click tracks just like that. Come to the master, external out. Then this point you select four. That means the cable that connect to the four. So it means total you need one, two, three, four, four cables that going to different places. Okay. So the instruments are going to they are, the instruments are going from one and two to the mixer board. The tray that contains the bass is going to the mixer board, or it can go through the amplifier before it goes to the mixer board. The four is sending the cues that is not going to the mixer board. 
with that cable, you are going to send it to this device on the screen. It's called the headphone amplifier hub. Okay. So this, if you connect that cable from the fourth output, you just send it to the input of the headphone amplifier so that you can have multiple headphone slots. Okay. You just connect at that joint. Okay. That's where you guys will connect them from. And with that, you only hear the cues and the collect tracks, okay? I said to you, if you are not having a sound card, you can just turn off the cues and the collect tracks so you can just go your way, okay? No problem. But if I give you my stem, depending on your sound system, you have to adjust my stems so that it can fit to your, um, your PA system. Maybe your PA system has a lot of low ends, that means you need to reduce the 808. You understand? So you can just use the gain here to adjust the stem. In case you need the stem that I'm using, it is paid, okay? Inbox me. Then after that, you will just come and save your live set, okay? So you need to save it and call it maybe, let me create. Okay, so you can call it um, Diffy Simultaneity. Diffy Diffy stems, okay. Something like this. Then you just sit on, you hit on the save. Voila. Then you have your project saved. Anytime you want to use the stems, as you retrieve it, you're going to have everything back. So thank you for your time. In case of anything, you can just comment in the section, okay.